for three rounds of action, and it is for the vacant Dunk Road on the May Lightweight Championship. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. This man stands in and fighting nine inches tall. Official weight, 155 pounds. Undefeated as a mixed martial artist, he has a record of five wins against two defeats. Representing Team ASD and joining us from Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rich the Master Molina. about a loud atmosphere. This is what it is all about. The title's on the line. Eric Rasmussen wearing the red trunks, the Muay Thai trunks, wearing the black is Rich Monstar Molina. Here we go. This one is going to produce a lot of fireworks. Eric Rasmussen looks in great physical shape. Absolutely. The last time he fought, he won by way of stoppage that was at Guthrie May's first event in at Excalibur, tagged on for Molina. You know, I think very good job by Rasmussen getting right back up. Good punches by Molina. Very Molina good punches, punches by Molina. at short like range. He might have hurt Rasmussen a little bit there. Molina is throwing some bombs here, Ray. Very good positioning, getting his hips all the way in. And look at Rich Molina. He has pounded away. I think this might be it, Ray. Rasmussen is Molina in some is throwing trouble. some bombs right now. His hips are all the way in, a la Ben Henderson, Donald Cerrone. As R Rasmussen gets back to his feet, but still keeping a hold of the back is Rich Monstar Molina. Molina, Molina now has the try back. Rich Molina trains under Team ASD under DeCarlo Johnson. The last time he won, he defeated his opponent by way of rear naked choke. He has finished four of his last five opponents, and he's looking to make it five of six with Rasmussen. Ray, I am very impressed with Rich Molina's ground game right now. Doing a very good job. His hips are staying very, very heavy. And he's passing, too. Let's see what he can do right now. Rasmussen bloodied up already in the fight. Yeah, Rasmussen, I don't think even expected a fight like this no. against Rich Monstar Molina. That is why they call him exactly that, the Monstar. He is a monster in the cage. Big punches by Molina right now. And a right hand. Oh, you that heard that. I think that was a tap, right? That no, might have been a tap. It he, looks like it might have been. He was trying to... Get some space. Molina doling out some serious punishment to Rasmussen right now. Rasmussen has no answer either, Ray. Molina's inflicting a great deal of punishment upon the face of Eric Rasmussen. Molina's in firm control. You know, honestly, coming into the fight, I would not have anticipated that Rich Molina would be dominating Rasmussen in this fashion. I completely agree with you, Ray. I, my eyes have been open. Molina is the real deal. Very, very good ground game and wrestling. I'm impressed right now, and he throws punches. This man is fighting to finish. 
And Rich Molina is trying to finish Rasmussen. Now he's trying to hold 10 seconds to go in this, our first round. He's got that guillotine choke locked in. How deep it looks is it, tight. Kid? It looks tight right now. I think there might be. Oh, very good job. That ends round His one. His face is almost very red. Rasmussen has to get off in order to get this fight back in his favor. He really ne never even started, Gabe. He never even started. He is a kickback kickboxer, and he didn't get the opportunity. Very good right hand by Molina. Molina's right in his grill, and he's trying to go for a takedown. Nice job to save it off is Rasmussen. Rasmussen had one of the most exciting fights that I can remember. That was in 2006 when he fought John Klaichek. This guy can go is Eric Rasmussen, but he's got to get going right now. Absolutely. You know, he's a gamer. He took a lot of damage in the first round, and he looks fresh in the second. Good sprawl by Rasmussen right there. A nice knee to the body by Rasmussen and a takedown again for Rich the Monster Molina. Let's see if he can duplicate that success he had in the first round. Pass, mount, take the back and throw out some bombs. Not a whole lot right now. Rasmussen has an open guard right now. Molina not really looking to pass, maybe taking a little bit of a breather. Rich Molina, the 25-year-old who wrestled at St. Lawrence, and now a stand-up by referee Dave Stone. Don't know if I agree with that or not. I, I agree with you, Ray. That was a very, very, very quick stand-up. Didn't even give an opportunity to work. Both guys in outstanding physical shape. The cutthroat lightweight title for grabs. But even though he got stood up, immediately right back down. Molina gets the takedown. I'm very impressed with Molina right now, Ray. Very good wrestling. Very good jiu-jitsu. Very good control. And you know what? His stand-up's not that bad either. He's landed a few shots of his own. Now, Molina, Molina, in order for you to get a takedown, he's setting it up. He's going with a nice one to a jab, followed by a cross. He rushes in, takes him down. Rasmussen is an extremely talented kickboxer and a very good fighter. For crying out loud, he took Josh Ockley to a draw here. And Josh Ockley is, one, is an up-and-coming lightweight on the professional ranks. But Molina is taking it to Eric Rasmussen here tonight. Absolutely, he is. Rasmussen going for a sweep right now. Molina doing a good job keeping his hips down, not letting it happen. <laughs> Rich Molina, Eric Rasmussen. Scheduled for three rounds. We are in the second round as this seems to be a thorough wrestling clinic thus far for Rich Molina. In the second round, it's been a wrestling clinic. Game. It has been. You know, Molina, I don't know if he's gassed out or, or if he felt just comfortable with his first round performance, but he's not done as much damage or used as much offense as he did in the first round. A right hand that lands, and that ends round two. It is in the books. As Rich Monstar Molina seems to be ahead on the scorecards, at least from our vantage point, two rounds to nothing. Eric Rasmussen wearing the red trunks, wearing the black. Rich Monstar Molina. A nice front kick by Molina. Another Rasmussen one. really trying to time that right hand, it looks like. He wants to walk him down. If there's one guy, if there is someone who has one punch knockout power in the lightweights, it is Eric Rasmussen. And a nice, nice kick. Nice high kick by, there it is, and he hurt him. He hurt him, Ray. Molina he hurt him with that right hand and that head kick. Street. Absolutely. But now He's Molina retaliates. Up. Molina is coming and stepping into the range of Rasmussen. Very good job by both fighters. Good chins, good composure. They're, they're in a title fight for a reason. And don't forget Chad Fredrickson, who defeated Derek Mallard earlier tonight, waits in the wings, possibly for a title shot at the winner. A nice right hand that lands for Rasmussen. Rasmussen picking it up, trying to stay away from a takedown. Nice tie clinch. Very good job by Rasmussen. Oh, and a knee man. to the face, landed on the chin. And I Come don't on. believe a knee is allowed. I don't believe knees to the head are not allowed regarding the amateurs. That was very unfortunate because I think that Rasmussen could have finished that fight without that knee to the head. Now, I believe he gets five minutes to recover. Hopefully, he takes that time and he does recover. This has been a great fight. 
Well, had he landed that knee, it could have been over because Molina looked to be a little wobbly. He did. But he's trying to, he, he needs to take the full five minutes. Absolutely. The doctor, Merced, is currently in the cage checking on Molina. But that's unfortunate because Very unfortunate. in the professional ranks, they would be allowed to knee to the head, Absolutely. but not amateur wise. Very unfortunate because that was a very exciting fight. I've enjoyed watching it. Rasmussen was making a comeback. He hurt Molina. Looks like Molina's fine. Going to catch his breath. Going to get his wits about him. It looks like he's all right. Hopefully the doctor will let the fight go on. Rich Monster Molina taking some time to regather his thoughts. But Eric Rasmussen has had the best round that we've seen in the fight so Out far. Out and out. He hurt him twice. He hurt him with that left high kick. Hurt him with a right hand straight down the pipe. Was on his way, I believe, to finishing him. We'll see what Molina does here. Hopefully he can uh, regain his composure and continue fighting. Well, for Rich Molina to possibly beat Eric Rasmussen, who is undefeated, he has a record of three wins, no losses, three draws. He has fought some top guys, Josh Shockley being one of them. This would say a lot for Rich Molina. And Eric Rasmussen, standing at six feet one inch tall, has devastating striking power. Absolutely. But right now, Rich Molina has been able to like neutralize Molina's that. ready. Here we go. I'm excited to see what happens here, Ray. What do you think? Do you think that, that affected Molina, or do you think he's fully recovered? I think it benefited both guys. I think Molina is fully recovered, but still a right hand that lands for Molina. Good job. You know, Ray, one of the things that Molina is getting away from is setting up his strikes, as you mentioned, like he did in the first and second round, setting up his strikes, or setting up his takedowns with strikes. He hasn't been doing that. He's been diving in. Oh, a high kick, a head kick that lands for Rasmussen, pushing away Molina as Rasmussen trying to get off a left hook that lands. Molina, that hurt him. Absolutely it did. Absolutely it did. Rasmussen, I think he may have it right here. Let's see if he can finish it without making any bad mistakes. Time is going to be his biggest enemy. He's got to go right now. Unload everything. Throw those hands. Throw those leg kicks. Throw the kicks to the body. He's got to let everything hang out right now as the Cuthbert MMA lightweight title hangs in the balance. Hopefully he doesn't knee him in the head right here. Nice uppercut by Rasmussen. Molina getting the clinch that he desperately wanted, staying away from some of those strike attempts by Rasmussen. Rasmussen trying to push Molina, and he wants to kind of get free. He needs to get free to let himself get going. Absolutely. I can be, he needs to push off and throw punches right now, Ray. I agree with you. Gabe, what do you think? Eric Rasmussen, he's got to do something. Do you believe that time is sticking in his head? You know, I think so, but we do have a title fight, so he's got two more rounds coming up. No, one more. This oh, is only more. a this, because it's vacant. It is a three-round fight. It is a three-round fight. Okay, Rasmussen definitely needs to push away. He needs to finish this fight right now. He's got ten seconds. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Rich Molina, Eric Rasmussen are gonna go to the horn. The cutthroat title up for grabs, and that ends the third and final round. You know, Ray, I think uh, I think Molina win that fight. Only time will alter your name.